Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube video. Now you want to learn how to paint peacock feathers, right? In this video, I will show you how I do it. I'm painting peacock feathers here in oil paint, but the same techniques can be applied using heavy body acrylic paint too. So before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my weekly art videos. Peacocks are one of those beautiful birds whose very unique eye pattern feathers are so rich in symbolic meanings and have been inspirations for gener generations of artists. So in this painting time lapse, I'm using oil paint with the cold wax medium and painting mostly with a palette knife. I will show you how to use the palette knife to create texture for the peacock feathers, different parts of the peacock feathers. And the materials I used will be listed in the description below. So I start off by transferring my composition drawing from paper to this cradle wood panel, and then I go over the drawing with diluted paint. I think it's paint gray I'm using for the sketch. And then after the sketch, from then on, I'll start mixing my oil paint with the Covex medium using a one-to-one -one ratio. And then I'll start painting with palette knife um, right after the sketching. So the palette knife, knife I'm using is a small triangular shaped palette knife. You can easily find that in your local art supply store. So I start off by blocking in the background first with a dark green. To paint the peacock, I also block in the shadow on the peacock first with a dark blue and then add this mid-tone blue. And after, you can see that I will use the palette knife to gently just mix, um, mix the paint slightly. And then I will add the, even a lighter blue to create the look of feathers on um, his head. And then I move on to paint the eye patterns in the feather. So when you paint the um, patterns in the feather, the eye patterns observe how it has a few different rings of color, so to speak, different rings of color, and just paint it accordingly. And you can see that I use, um, so here are some tips for you. So when you paint the ring of um, the feather, especially the outside, the most outside ring, you can use your um, palette knife stroke in the direction of the feather. So it goes outwards. So that kind of creates a little bit of um, interesting texture, also movement. Another tip I have for you is that you can use the blade of the palette knife or a bamboo skewer or a small silicon paint scraper to cut through the dark green background paint to create, so you cut through right to the um, the surface, the background of the wood panel to get the look of the shafts or the bristles of the feathers, the thin shafts of the feathers. You can see that the wood panel has been pre-painted with an orange or a bright yellow color and I did it purposely before I even started the painting. So when I scrape back to the painting surface, the wood panel, I get, I get this orange color peeking through as the bristles of the feathers. So I did that um, on, with intent. So when you start a painting, um, especially you apply this scraping back technique, give it a little bit of thought about what color you want as your first initial underpainting layer. So with Covex, you can scrape off paint and apply a different color on top if you want a different color, or you can simply add more paint on top of the under layer. If um, the paint is still wet like mine here, and you want to add a new color on top, a different color on top, you want to apply this very gently so it does not interfere with the under layer and mix the paint, unless, of course, that is your intention. And I have the full length video of this painting in real time for my Patreon patrons at the $10 reward here, plus many other tutorial. So if you are interested, please check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, make something wonderful and have fun. Bye!